Hello, Pelocity Posse. Welcome back to the channel for another G Fuel review video. In this review, we're going to take a look at one of the newer flavors that have come out for G Fuel. It's not super new, but it's new to me, so I'm going to give you guys my first impressions and taste test. I got two flavors that are brand new in that box right there to my uh, to my right and to your left. We're going to open that baby up right now. Got my trusty pairs of uh, scissors here. Just going to slice this thing right across this box just like that. I know we're going to get a sticker. Ooh, look, at all that, look at all the goodies in there. Better be careful. What are we going to do today, you may ask? Well, you're going to be reviewing this tub today. We are going to be reviewing Clickbait. Clickbait is a recent tub. It kind of came to surprise, I think, of uh, some people. Um, it was kind of a spammy flavor name. Nobody really knew what it was going to be. And as you can look by the tub, I'm going to give you a good look-see here. There's a lot of different uh, characters on this thing, and a lot of different cartoons and fruits and stuff. You don't really know what it's going to be until you try it. But as you can see, it's got a lot of different cartoons on there all the way around. Got some grapefruits, got some cherries. I think there's a, um, a character from... Among Us in here somewhere on this tub, but yeah, you can see that there is definitely a lot going on. A very, very super designed tub for G Fuel. One of the most highly anticipated tubs, I think, once they finally got word that this was coming out. So, I'm so excited to try this. What I don't have with me right now is some water and some ice and a G Fuel shaker. So, I'm going to go grab that and I will be right back. Alright, now that I'm back with my water, I'm going to open this up real quick. I always like to take this little tab here just pull down I'm not one of those people that keeps that top wrap on there it seems like the uh, perforation stopped at a certain spot on the, on the wrapper this is actually pretty interesting my tub is actually kind of bowing at the bottom you can kind of see it's a little round when I set it down over here you can kind of see it wobbles a little bit it spins that it's not flat on the bottom it's actually puffing out which is a little strange it's also extremely puffy up on the lid. So let's open this thing and let's release some of the gas. Mm. All right, now it's time to smell this wonderful powder. I see the, ooh, I see the scooper right there. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Ah. There goes the G Fuel powder all over the room. Beautiful. All right, now that I got the scoop kind of manageable, let me give this thing a smell. It smells pomegranate-y, definitely. It kind of has a medicine cherry taste or smell to it. I can definitely smell the medicine type cherry. It's taking me back to the cherry medicine that I had when I was a kid. I did like the cherry medicine over the orange medicine that I had as a kid. Yeah, I'm definitely getting that smell. More so than any other cherry flavor that G Fuel's had, whether it was cherry limeade or sour cherry. This definitely has that smell more so than any of the others. So I'm going to open up this uh, G Fuel shaker here kick out some of this powder so I can make myself a nice scoop and uh, as we do here I always take the top piece right off get it out of here we don't use uh, water bottles in this household we only use G Fuel shakers there you go you got one scoop of clickbait G Fuel and that will go right into the shaker right up in here just like that let's see what we're doing in here with some colors mmm not really sure what we're looking at Ooh, we're getting some reds and some pinks and some blues. It's starting to look a little bit like uh, uh, Tetris Blast a little bit with the uh, blues and the pinks and all that. So let's get that lid locked down nice and tight and we're gonna shake her up as we do on this channel. Hope you enjoy. All right, it's looking like she's ready to go. Uh, really foamy. You can see all that foam on the top of there. A lot of foam on the top of that uh, thing. So let's get a pop here. Not bad, not bad. All right. Smell of the clickbait G Fuel flavor. Yep. The medicine cherry smell has come out stronger. I don't know if that's the pomegranate that's adding that kind of sour punch to it in the flavor smell or whatever you want to call it, the scent of the flavor. But it definitely has that that medicine cherry smell. This is my first taste and reaction to clickbait G Fuel. Not bad. It's 
kind of refreshing actually. It doesn't have a lot of um, doesn't have a lot of cherry punch to it, but you definitely get that pomegranate. If you've ever had pomegranate, it's actually more pomegranate than cherry, I think actually. If you've ever had pomegranate, pomegranate is actually a really hard fruit to um, to eat. Actually, you have to cut the thing open and scoop out the seeds. Some people like to pick them out. Some people like to take a spoon and smack the back of the back of the peel and knock out the seeds. But pomegranates are generally pretty tart. Um, they've got a really strong flavor, kind of melty. You know, like once you bite off the seed, it kind of melts away. You don't get a lot of flavor. So to have a flavor of pomegranate kind of like this strong, to get a lot of flavor of pomegranate down in one gulp, it's actually really refreshing. I am um, pleasantly surprised. I thought I'd like it because I'm a fan of like, every cherry flavor G Fuel's ever released. I was not wrong by saying that. I was not wrong. Um, really good flavor. Uh, if you guys like cherries, you guys are a uh, fan of the sour flavors of G Fuel. Maybe not so much those lighter, sweeter ones. Uh, but if you like the sour flavors, this, this, this might be the one for you. It's a little on the lighter side, but it's still got that cherry cherry vibe that I think a lot of, uh, you know, fans of cherry G Fuel flavors would like. So I would give this thing probably right now an 8.7 out of 10. Uh, I don't know if it lands above my top five or in the top five for me. Uh, it definitely reaches levels of, like I said, maybe top 10 because um, my other cherry flavors were in there. I don't know if it would knock any of those away right now. I don't have much sour cherry left. So if we do ever run out of sour cherry, uh, I won't be disappointed if this is what I have to drink instead because this is actually really good. Yeah, 8.7, really good. You can pick it up right now on gfuel.com um, and I believe Amazon because they partnered with Amazon. They've also got some tubs on there too. You can go on to gfuel.com, pick up a tub of this right now with a bunch of other newer releases and other canned flavors and other new products that uh, G Fuel has. You can pick those all up on gfuel.com. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. I'm about to record one more taste test for you and you'll see that shortly. Thanks so much for watching guys. Have a good night. Have a good day. Whenever you're watching this, love ya. See you around. Have a great day.